Total War Pharaoh. It keeps being longer and longer in between recording sessions, and I am sorry about that. Life gets busy, gets busy you know? Uh, we're going to continue playing as Bay, or as I have it listed here, Soar. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But uh, we're going to be continuing this, and then uh, this is, of course, part of that grand let's play the, through Pharaoh all the way back to, or all the way up to Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai. So it's going to be a pretty expansive let's play once we get through it. If I keep playing one episode per week, though, it's going to take years for this to get done. So hopefully I can start making some more progress than I have been. Honestly, some pretty good music in this game. Artos! No. Dog's trying to eat a piece of stuffing. Like from a, from a toy. All right, so last time I remember we took out Shechem. And uh, we're going to head to Megiddo now to try to get that gold source. Because gold is probably the most valuable resource we can have in this game. Um, because everyone constantly wants it from what I can tell. And uh, so it has high trading value. So we are history. some veteran Canaanite swordsmen and all of that. Um, it's been a while, so I'm trying to reacclimate myself. Son of Canaan. It's been a week since upload. It's probably been two weeks since I have played. Uh, okay, court. Shemsu Hor begins. Let's make a request. It is the time to take stock and take note. Um. I don't really have any request I want to make. I've used my the... time will come. Oh, I don't have any special recruitment here. Interesting. Oh well. Um, I guess what I need to do. What was I focusing on in building last time? Um, we're doing pretty good on all of our resources. We're starting to lose legitimacy, but that's not a big deal because I'm not trying to really do anything in the court just quite yet. I want to get some. I want to get further up and uh, kind of get where I can actually fight for whatever I'm doing in the court. Because it would be weird to try to claim the crown whenever I can't fight against the ruler of uh, the Hittite king kingdom right now, Shippalaluma. So... Advisor to kings. So we just barely have enough food. Um... Theory, I could upgrade that to give us a little more breathing room. Uh, workforce growth is... We're gonna have... How much workforce do we have? Oh, we have three. So we would have enough workforce to be able to build the next level of settlement next turn. I don't remember what I was doing. Pretty sure we were just kind of cleaning up from finishing off here. So 
That's what I'm going to pretend that we were doing. And I think I am... What? Okay, so we already have the one food building we, have, we can have down there. That doesn't give us much more if we upgrade it. This is something I will say I'm not the biggest fan of in this game. Um, upgrading food resources or resource buildings in general doesn't have the same feel as in other Total War games where it actually feels like it's accomplishing something. So if I were to upgrade this uh, pasture, I would only be getting 45 extra resources per turn. And that I can't justify that, um, that use of precious resources. Like, I'm lo I, I am only gaining 133 wood per turn right now. If I were to upgrade this, it would take me three turns to replenish that in order to get a mere, a measly 45 food. And that's pretty consistent, but, uh, across the game, but, I, uh, it's not the worst thing. It's just, it, it doesn't feel like it's worth building those. Uh, ba ba ba. Okay, so my happiness is... Oh, I'm about to be in Rebellion. <laughs> Great. Um, let's build a Shrine of Toth. The Temple of Toth. Let's get some happiness going in there. Um, our influence is actually not terrible. But I want it to be higher. Because uh, it does change a little bit of what we can gain. So production, all resources, plus 10%. So I think we need to increase our influence. If I do the Chief Scribe's Headquarters, I can get Legitimacy and Influence per Non-Aggression Pack. Do I have that many Non-Aggression Packs? No. I'm pretty much been a warm longer. Okay, let's make Friendship some. Friendship between tribes is worth celebrating. Let's drink. Oof, that's expensive, bro. Be realistic. Okay. Uh, Emaru, we can we Emeru negotiate? Like family to me. Uh, it's not worth it. So that sucks. I could go ahead and build it in theory. Uh, it feels like it's a waste of a build slot. I miss Medieval 2's building system where you had unlimited build slots. But that's not something new to this game. That's been something for since Empire. And that's actually something Three Kingdoms did pretty well. They uh, made it where you might just have to go with the Hall of Records. Um, it can increase my legitimacy, too. So I'm going to go with the Hall of Records. But that's something that they did good in Three Kingdoms. I'm not the biggest Three Kingdoms fan. But it's a... that Their building system, it doesn't feel like you're ever needing to build more than you can build in the settlement. It may feel like the settlement needs upgraded and you can't do it, but the actual, the amount of buildings per settlement at max tier doesn't feel restricted. Uh, okay, so we've got we're trying to toss building or a couple of toss. I think I'm going to wait a couple of turns, or maybe even just one turn, yeah, just one turn, and get a singing square. So, that'll help. Or do I need to get an obelisk? Obelisk. Plus two legitimacy. I would love that. And I would have to wait... Uh... I don't know how long I'd have to wait, because I... I mean, 
restriction. The main restriction I have now is not actually resources, it's workforce. So that may hold off until we can upgrade the or upgrade the main uh, building. But I'm not there right now. Oh, uh, I might need to build a military building here. Didn't even think about that. Let's, okay, so this has Haberu Raiders and Shasu Tribesmen. And it can be upgraded to get Shasu Warriors, Haberu Skirmishers, and Sasu, Sasu, that word, Archers. Okay, um, so what does this give me? Yeah, these are my, or these are my faction specific units. Um, and then what about these two? Are we improving ground? Okay, so my faction specific units apparently are all of these, and then these are the only native ones, which I guess makes sense. Um,. I guess, what is this, Canaanite Stalkers? Those are the elite light infantry, but I, I'm not going to really need those going up north. Um, and I'm not going to be able to construct that in time to be able to fight down south just yet. And even if I was, I would need it on this side of, well, I don't, I don't guess that's necessary. It's going to say I need it on this side of... Is this the Jordan? I'm guessing this is Jordan. Yeah. Um, this side of the Jordan River. And I couldn't do that. So... Um, let's go ahead and build an infantry housing. Why not? Just... Let's go ahead and get that done. So we have a full thing of buildings there. And get rid of as much workforce as we need to. Because that will help us... Uh, get rid of some of that outer workforce uh, problems that we're having. Core in action still available. Counted cattle and coin and listen to the people. Um Let's gain access to the royal bodyguard so I don't have anything else to do suffering. really. To asking for help. I will defend my home. Okay, so maybe next turn. I think it's next turn. Um, I still have the court action. No, I have to look at the plots. Uh, but it is a medicine. Okay. I don't know why it insists on me looking at that while I'm not part of the plot on either side. It's kind of weird to me, but whatever. Um, I have access to all of the Canaanite gods currently. Ugh. So, what does Toth give me for the shrines? Happiness and construction cost? I, what does El give me? Asherah gives a lot of uh, happiness. So does Yom. I actually want to worship Yom next, I think. Um, which this one should be able to do yet in two turns. Oh, gonna have to edit that. That's my actual name. Swords and Stones does not endorse idolatry. Um, I've kind of built all I can build right now with that stone being the way it is. Um, so I guess we just end the turn. I'm gonna actually head... Or have my secondary general head up north, Astartus. And maybe start recruiting up there. I don't know what I'm going to have him do, but... I 
kind of want to, or don't kind of, I really want to head into Megiddo and take all of that soon. Um, Sea Peoples. Hey, I was smart uh, to bring them up. No one Let's go ahead and keep you going life. up and have you, or have you had to soar. If I remember correctly, this first wave is of extremely weak uh, enemies, so this shouldn't be that big of a deal. I live to serve. Canaanite lookout post. Okay, so new victory objectives: uh, survive the invasion of the Sea People and get ten victory points. Okay. Weshesh. I wonder if they have it where some of the faction names can change so that maybe some of the Sea Peoples can turn into Philistia or uh, some of the other nations that formed around here at this time, but I don't know. I, I kind of have my doubts considering Why how uh, considering how they are um, you would figure they would already have those names coming in, not the other way around. Bring me the battle ready. Uh. The thousand gods bear witness. We are called to noble work. All right. Make request. Um. And what is their great king requesting do? Um, ba 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 ba. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to gossip again Good and try and get some of that, uh, someone like me. get some of the, uh, court rulings in my favor. Fear nothing. Um, let's get some Canaanite cell swords. I know they're not great, but I'm just needing to be able to help fend these off. Check on your happiness is actually increasing now. Well, so my military presence is. I could actually, in theory, leave now, but I'm going to give it one more turn. Make sure that they are in the positive before I leave. And then I can head up north and uh, maybe if there's more armies that show up, fight them off. Garrison general not moved. Yeah, that's fine. Construction available. Up. Outpost commandment available. Check. Okay. Um. There's not any stone being produced here, so that might know that I, I said that I lied. Um. Do 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 do. We're going to organize festivities. That'll Advise be done next kids. turn, and that'll give us the ability to just head out of here. Without worrying about a rebellion. rebellion. I will say it does seem easier to stabilize your public order in this game uh, versus the older titles. Maybe that's not the case later on, or maybe I've just been lucky so far, but we'll see. Uh, I was right about there I being more. Be Subtlety is king. Let's have you head up to Let's Northern Sword or to Gubla. Um, 
I can now have another local deity. I think we're going to go with... Uh, who did I say? Yom, I think is who I said. <coughs> but a prayer with Asherah could, well, okay, I can't devote a general to any of them anyway, so I would be stuck with shrines for a pretty long time. Um... The workforce growth isn't really that useful. Not right now, it isn't. And I could always use more food production, so we'll go with Yom. I shall convey your demands truthfully. And do I have any available? I do. So let's go to Shrine Tiam somewhere. Because, uh, who does provide some food, right? Yeah, food plus 5% this province. Gubla has a pretty good food production, so. Try to be on. I speak, others listen. Born in battle. Um, somehow that fixed my resources? What? I'm so confused. Oh well, I wasn't paying that close of attention, apparently. Let's get some archers in here. We don't want to be caught with our pants down, so to speak. Be seated, peers of the court. We have much work. Uh, royal decree available. Yeah, forgot about that. <clears throat> um ba -ba -ba -ba. let's up our bronze income can always use more bronze And I guess, well, is there anything I need to build here? Those are all still building. Nothing I can really do about that. Um, nothing I really need here. I guess we can build another shrine of Toth. Well, this is also going to increase increase our favor, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Let's build a shrine of Yom, I guess. I don't particularly particularly. Well, I can't speak. Particularly care. I still sounded way too southern with that. Uh, they want a non-aggression pact, and they will give me food. I... They want a non-aggression pact, and they will give me gold. No, I still want to attack you. Weshish. 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 Desire. Shosh. 
Weshesh. Okay, they're heading in. <coughs> Need to get Bay up there quick. Do, do, do. Never back down. I stand strong. Drought and okay, I don't care about that. Oh, guiding hand. The last thing I am sure either of us desire is a conflict of interest. So I may okay. Uh, sure. I get free gold for losing a court action. <coughs> Uh, go with the food on this one. The tribe and is head up to side done with Astartus. Organized patrol. And oh, head up to Gubla with Bay. And that should cut them off at the head or at the passing. The Mixed up my saying. We are called to noble work. Uh, oh. Mm, don't care about any of that. Um. Okay, so this should begin. Or this should be finished here in just a few turns. Provide me with a nice influence buff. And provide me with some spearmen, though. Those aren't really any good, but. It'll give me more of a, more of a variety to choose from, and that's actually a good thing because sometimes you need the cheap units. Expired barter. We have not tested goat as good as ours. I don't need your food that bad. It's in the turn. Way to go, Tad Moore. I could I could so easily take advantage of that right now. Attack him, head up, and take take Kadesh. No, well, I said that he disappeared. He may be hiding in the woods now. Ashkelon. Uh, you Megiddo. No, I do not want a non-aggression pact with you. You are my very next target. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, they are uh, both docking right now. Oh, look at you, Amaru. I will defend my home. I. It would be so. E oh no, that's Amaru is your suit. Don't mess that up, Cooper. That would be bad. I will unite my people. Uh, let's go Today ahead and fight our first battle of the episode. Um. Actually, we'll auto-resolve that one and fight this one, because so this will be a more I'll interesting battle brother. anyways. My time will come. Because this is going to be pretty easy. Oh yeah, he's even retreating. Partially because I think I'm getting reinforcements from on. Irsu. Prove yourselves. And I'm still getting a... No, I'm not. Okay. Anyways, auto-resolve that. Again, I am disappointed that you don't see... Oh gosh, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. I'm disappointed that you don't see any iron on them, because this is part of what made the sea people so, such a big threat, is that they had iron weaponry. Keep them bound and compliant. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. That'll be... Uh, I am mighty. Something. Okay, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. Anyways, let's fight this battle. So they were going They've got some Islander swordsmen, some Aegean fame seekers, seafaring clubsmen, Islander young spears, light archers, and slingers. And we've got a pretty good force to fight against that. Um, the main thing I'm worried about is the Islander swordsmen, but they may not be that big of a deal if. It's saying I'm going to win by this margin, so we'll quick save and we'll fight the battle. Metas.
it's been a while, so I've forgotten a lot of how uh, Pharaoh works versus other Total War games. I've been playing some city builders in my free time instead of recording, so I've been playing like Anno 1800 or um, Furthest Frontier. I've not bought City Skylines yet, need money by that, but uh, been. Uh, been just kind of chilling playing a lot of those games so I've not had much time to record this because this requires more brain power because I actually have to speak at the same time and as you can tell by my constant stuttering that is not always the easiest thing in the world for me to do um Sure, let's let's deploy. We're we're gonna have to deal with this anyways. They cannot withstand that. Now then we do all have medium. So let's see if we can't draw them towards us instead of us marching through the mud. That could very easily wear our troops out and put us at a disadvantage early on. Put the archers at the front. And put the general at the line. Start the battle. No, this is, uh, I was saying I was talking, uh, during play, g gameplay is difficult. That's something I'm, I've only done this for, like, ten videos now. I'm not by any means an expert. I'm not, I'm barely in office. Um, this is something that I have been experiencing that I didn't really expect to experience was, uh, how difficult it is to talk and play at the same time. Even if you are just narrating what you're doing. Because I tend to get quiet whenever I focus on whatever I'm doing. We're gonna have- this is gonna wear us out already. Oh, this sucks. They're still fresh, but... We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't like having to run through the mud for this. I also don't like being the one charging through the choke point. This is not the ideal way of starting this battle. Uh, less armor piercing damage, but it also affects morale. Okay, so it's it not just our lower armor piercing damage. I wasn't sure what the red was, but yeah, less morale, uh, and uh, in exchange for literally everything else, which may be useful later. It's not really right now. Um. Let's actually just go ahead and have you charge in to your respective units. And then let's go ahead and have him charge into Metis and have the spearmen charge into Metis and then also have you charge into Metis. I want I want to make sure that there's no risk of him defeating a, a stray unit. Hey, you're supposed to be shooting him. Okay, so pretty even right now. They're, somehow they've actually taken more casualties than us in the early stages of the battle, which is weird considering we're charging into them. Uh, Islander Swordsmen. How do we stack up against them? They are stronger than us. Well, that's comforting. You're winning somehow. We will not falter. Combat's even. Okay. But we'll just see how this goes. Uh, let's have the archers focus fire on the Aegean fame seekers. I feel like that's going to be a more effective use of their time. Keep 
You should be able to break through them pretty quickly, I would think, but maybe not. <laughs> so, if anyone's made it this far in the video, because my viewer attention is all over the place. Um, does anyone actually want me to play Troy whenever we're going through this, or do I want to, do you want me to skip immediately from this to Rome 2? That's uh, something I haven't really figured out yet. Um, I don't think Troy's a terrible game. It's not, it's... Here's the thing, I don't think Total War's made any truly terrible games. I think Troy is probably the close, closest that we come, though. But, that said, it's... I think it's an, a perfectly adequate game. I enjoy playing it whenever I'm playing it. Um, but, it's... Just because of compared to the other Total Wars, it's not the best. I that and the fact that it wasn't really marketed to a historical audience it was marketed to the Three Kingdoms audience, trying to bridge that gap. And so, uh, if y'all think that it would be a good use of our time to actually play through that, so that we've played through every technical historical Total War game, I'm down. But I don't want to play it if there's not going to be anyone watch it, which I'm not expecting great views. I'm expecting a few views per video, which is what I'm getting with this anyways. So, like I said, I'm not uh, sure what to do next. I'm probably, if it's just, uh, if I don't get any feedback, I'll probably just stick with Rome 2. So, everyone's losing the battle, except for the Light Archers for some reason. Which is an interesting development. Um, this will be your final okay, we're about to break. They're, they're winning slightly, but I don't know that they're going to break anytime soon. Uh, those clubmen broke, so hey, that's something. Let's have those archers focus on the fame seekers. Uh, yeah, my troops are wavering. I stand unbroken. The I was right to have a little bit of anxiety about the Islander swordsman. Um We stand strong. Both fire Come on, little one down. There we go, they're broken. Shoot the Shoot spearmen. That's a full unit that is fighting them. They haven't even taken a single casualty. That's pathetic. Metis or Metis, whatever his name is, is slowly getting whittled down. He's not going to win that, fortunately. So I feel confident, at least in the center. Both flanks I'm a little nervous about, especially the left flank. Um, the right's holding strong. It's I'm more nervous that it won't uh, break the clubmen in time for this unit to... or to help this unit. So, we'll see what happens, but it's got me a little on the nervous side. But we started whittling down those spears, finally. Um... This is going to be a closer battle than I would have liked for it to be. That's... aggravating. And so nothing that the game did wrong... oh, we're in the thunderstorm now. Nothing the game did wrong. I just been uh, taken out of these battles for a while. Whenever I say the game did wrong, I mean, I, I don't feel like I've been unfairly treated in this battle, so to speak. I don't feel like the uh, AI's gotten any super unfair advantages or anything. It's just I've not done the best this battle. Okay, so archers, you can take on those slingers. There's not really any point in charging you in anywhere for this unit of archers. Metis is broken. Let's break those archers. I think once those swordsmen break too, they should, uh, the archers should run, and that should have us be able to head out and take on these young spears. Oh, the clubmen broke, so let's go ahead and have them take on the young spears. No more of this!
Um. I feel pretty confident about how well we're going to do here. Still not charging. Oh, you got... They got lost in the woods. Uh, oh. I thought my game just crashed, but it was just a little bit of lag. Here we go. We won. I'm not going to be able to catch up with Midas this time around. But that has them driven out. Got the easiest of the um, sea peoples beat off. And that's the, it's in the battle there. Close victory. It, it, it shouldn't have been close. Um, not because it shouldn't have been close. I did not do well there. That was, that was poor on my part. I should have sent somebody around and flanked and... Shouldn't have all bunched. Shouldn't have bunched up all of my troops there in the center. I just didn't do the best. But they'll live and learn. Okay, we're still just loading. I do like the music. The music's really nice. Look at him with his little buckle and shield. Mighty so cute. Was our guide. Uh, gain some Hittite legitimacy. They will share Kanan's fate. They will make fine slaves. Okay, let's chase him down. That's Onward, we should be able to this turn. Yeah, that's no problem. Auto resolve. And he's dead. Our tribe rejoice in victory. Son of and Kena. that will have us Rulers meeting make the I like sea peoples this time around. Let's go ahead and move you back down to Sor. Uh, Gubla, is there anything I can do to help out with your food production? Not really. That will give us 95, which, I mean, it's something. Dang. Words are my weapons. The only solution I can really see here is just we've got to head down to Megiddo and take Yapo. Um, make a non-aggression pact with Ashkelon, and head back up north and start trying to take our rightful place as the Hittite king. So let's go ahead and I want to make or take out Megiddo this video. And then hopefully by next video we can start heading north to Amaru. We're probably going to have to take on Tadmor at some point or Ursu, whatever you want to call him. Because he's, I'm sure, not going to be content just to sit there. I fight um, my brothers. So yeah, let's go ahead and move upset. Bay south. To start heading towards Megiddo. Let's get going. He's going to need to recruit some troops. I value cunning over bluster. Armored Canaanite chariots? What do I have that can recruit? Oh! oh. I can't Boy, afford that. No, it's actually not bad on my bronze because I have just enough bronze. I also have enough bronze for those. Ooh, I want chariots. Prince, chariots are, you. despite what everyone's saying about the kind of squishiness of chariot charges, they can be really useful in this game. 
just having the extra speed. Um, I'm going to have to get some more brown before I completely upgrade those troops. Um, instead of hitting directly north, I might try and conquer all of Canaan and take out Tadmor or Irsu, whatever you want to call him, after I take Amaru. Because fighting the Hittites, I want to make sure I'm amply strong to head north. We'll see what happens, though. How do I make this stop? I don't know how to keep from having a crisis. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a sentence that can stick with you. Um, I don't know how to keep from going to crisis or collapse. Uh, the cult centers. How do you know what a cult? Which one's a cult center? Oh, so is the cult center just any f faction? But what? Am I stupid? Okay, um... So is... How do you tell where, where the cult centers are? Uh... Cult centers... Cult centers are settlements... Of great religious and social importance... Patron god... Large favor with the god. So can you make cities into cult centers? Um, is that what this does? Does this make it into a cult center? I'm so confused. Is Shechem a cult center? Toss Shrine One. Doesn't say so. Uh, huh. What about Damascus? Well, like if there was. Oh, it doesn't show me because it's not mine. Fine. Keep your secrets. Okay, whatever. We'll figure that out later. The uh, main thing I'm focused on now is conquering Megiddo. Court action available. I judge. All, uh, gossip. Me, the great king. In the turn. Irsu, think about what you're gonna do. If I need to kill you, I will kill you. I don't want to fight that war yet, because you're stronger than me, probably. But I'm willing to. Ashkelon's doing its own thing. No one knows the ways of Ashkelon. Amar. Erushalim. Mm. And then we're getting into the Sea Peoples now. But they aren't affecting me, so what do I care? My time will come. So now he's got the chariots. We okay, so if I were to replace one of these guys with them. We must convince Oh, that's actually not bad. I can replace all of my veteran Canaanite swords with um, I shall the, the renowned Canaanite swords because they are heavy, but they only take three more bronze, which is not bad at all.
All right, I had to step away for a minute. Um, I to serve. Uh, yeah. So let's get the renown. Can that swordsman recruited? There's not really any point in trying to make the cell swords into the renowned. Because I don't have the bronze production for that yet. Oh, I no, I don't have the bronze production for that yet. So Always we'll just hold off on that for right now. And I can't recruit the armored Syrian archers right now because of the fact that I'm recruiting with this one. So that will just have to hold off too. Um, I could go ahead and get the chieftain's compound. Give me some more construction space. Okay, so I feel like there's something major I'm forgetting. But I can't think of it. Let's go ahead and upgrade Sokka. Because I do want some more wood production. Because we're doing really well on stone production. Our wood production is kind of iffy. And we're going to need more wood production, definitely, if we go into collapse. That's going to be rough. Garrus, in general, not moved. That's I fine. I'm going to assign skill points with the poor Astartes. I will defend my cool. Own. Um, he's got decreased upkeep. Let's give him some movement. He needs to be a fast boy. It's in the turn. That's right, Irsu. Go back to your own province. No one wants you here. Irsu. You're not going to your own province. You're going back up to Amaru. Don't know what Ashkelon's doing. Or Urushalim. It's Shimsu Hor. Wow. Okay. Advisor to king. So let's. Fear nothing. You're not. You don't have anything left to replenish. You are now. basically fully replenished. On let's go ahead and start the invasion. Making good time. Okay, let's check out Megiddo's garrison. Ouch. Uh, okay, so they've got a Canaanite lookout post. Servant of let's send both in. Let's do a two-pronged approach to take Yapo and then swing north and take Megiddo. In the meanwhile, uh, Bay will be medicine, but it is taking on or taking up the fortifications. Port. Um, it is I time don't we have enough gold, and and listen to which is the entire reason for this. So we will just keep performing intrigues, uh, get good to see you not looking down your nose. At good with people. Like me. I speak. Others oh, listen. I'm. Why am I hemorrhaging so much food? Did I just lose a major? Uh. <coughs> What what just happened? How much food did those guys use? Royal liaison. Not much. <coughs> <coughs> I have no idea what's happened. That's weird. Is it just because of the season or is it just one of those things that's because it's fluctuating right now? I Okay. Well, I'll figure it out next turn. Amaru, I am not doing peace with you. Alright. Uh, idle compensation, sweet. I will gladly take the gold. Let's go ahead. Okay. Units, buildings. I need to keep track of how much my buildings are making. Um, got plenty of influence in my provinces, 
So it's not that. So we're... He's... I'm so confused. You know what, why don't we go ahead and just get a royal fishery while we're building? I mean, we always Sucking need more food. King. Uh, let's he keep that heading moving. south. Sweet, so they don't have any armies in the immediate area, so this is a one good chance to go ahead and just get this over with. They may not have any armies with the way that balance of power look. Let's raise that to the ground, take Yapo, then raise this to the ground, and then we'll head up and begin besieging Megadu. Megadoo, Mag Magidu, Megidu, Megiddo, Megiddo. That's the word. That's the one. I figured it out. Thought to resolve this. There's no point in fighting this. Megiddo, Megadoo. I've been pronouncing it. <laughs> Megiddo. <laughs> oh, raise it. And let's have you start marching to Megiddo. Meg Megiddo. I'm putting the wrong emphasis on the. Syllable. Syllable. Didn't even get that right. Okay. That looks good. Invading? The Weshish are hungry and prefer to. Oh, uh, that still doesn't affect me. Okay. Okay, that's not a big deal. Royal decree available. Why is our bronze still crap, though? Um. Let's keep improving our bronze production because it's struggling right now for some unknown reason. Uh, huh. I mean, it's not a big deal because I still have enough bronze to last several turns with it like it is. And enough to head up to Amaru and take theirs, but... It's still weird that it's doing that. My food is a bigger a issue right now. Quick save, auto resolve. Take what we need here. There we go. Occupy. Mighty every day. Uh okay. So that will give us that gives us some food. For the meantime, while we're hemorrhaging, let's check the building browser. Let's go ahead and get this. Because we are going to need it. For some reason. Wait, what is the negative troops? Oh, it's just Canaanites. Yeah, we don't need those. Uh, let's get demolish that. I do have this one over here I can upgrade. This one right here. Let's do that. And that will give us 250 more food, right? Just about. No, it gives us, yeah, about 250 more food. And I can go ahead. I can't build one there. Why not? Whatever. Stupid. I live to serve. All right, let's besiege Megiddo. Besiege. Ah, that balance power looks wrong. I don't buy that for we will a second. But I, I can't leave Yako just yet to reinforce. So we'll just hold Yako until next turn and then head up to Megiddo. Board action. BC Make request. Pick rolling. We have much work to do. Uh siding with the shepherd gives me influence and or I can get food. Punishing the shepherd will give me diplomatic relations and happiness. Don't need influence. I could always use happiness. And I do need food. So let's punish the shepherd. Don't know anything about it. Time for action. Justice is blind, but not in the right way. I stand strong. Uh... Let's go ahead and increase our food production in this province. With the Shrine Tiam. 
killed two birds with one stone. What? 240? Stupid. Um, is this built yet? Yeah, it's built already. Well, that sucked. Oh well, in turn. Are you going to attack me? Because that would be ideal. Nope, you're not gonna attack. You're not that dumb. I will defend my home. Uh let's get the smugglers bay. Born in battle. Happiness is stable. <laughs> I've got questions. Our age is one of perpetual. Whatever, crisis. I don't care. Let's besiege Megiddo. I mind. care about more about the siege than I do the possibility of rebellion in Yapo. It's not gonna happen anyways, because that's Prove yourselves. uh several turns away. Um They start taking attrition in two turns. Let's see if we can't draw them out by besieging. They can't hold forever. I mean, I can take it, and I would take not that many casualties, but I don't want to do it that way if I don't have to. Okay, so... Check them. I can go ahead and build this. The, this. Wow, I can't speak. This. And that will give me some more legitimacy. Favor. I am grateful for small happiness. In this world. And production resources. Uh, sure, why not? Next turn, I will do the bronze working complex. Or next couple turns, rather. What's the okay? So if I so ch so wanted, I could do a bronze workers district, which would give me a lot of bronze. Um, I don't need the native mustard filled mustard <laughs> native mustard filled. Don't need the ma native mustard filled anyways. So let's get rid of that and. Yeah, that will I fight be good. My brothers. Help us on one of the resources we're losing. On a sky, on a be sky. Brave, I cannot speak. It is late. It's late for me. I, it's like eight o'clock, which I go to bed early. So, ah, uh, uh, what does snipe do? Remains hidden. Nah, let's get some more battle loot and. Let's increase his replenishment rate. Unassigned skills points with our Stardust. Let's get some more replenishment going. Local deities. Yum. Nothing to do with you. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's cool. You can... Switch these over, giving a little go to turn. That's that's actually nice. That's not bad at all. Um, Hoth is going to have enough to devote a general to it in a bit, and then Yom, we're still a ways away. I am in control. Board action. I judge. Can't do that still. For or can't do that now because he's gone. Uh, Chief of the Royal Bodyguards, I don't really have any use for that. Let's just do it with... Uh, this dude. I can't remember his name. Such like I said, really tired. This bodes well for the greatness of Hati. Alright, let's end the turn. Wrong. 
So you're still just gonna hold out. But I... They may attack this turn. Let's get a battering ram going, and... Wall sapping? Sure. Let's do wall sapping. I want to make sure that we have plenty of entry points whenever we take this. Patience opens doors. But I will invade if they don't attack me. Under After that wall sapping's done. Uh, settlement upgrade available. Uh, okay. We're waiting on this, though, aren't we? Yep. Plus one in two turns, that's fine. Thor, settlement upgrade. Um, that's already constructed here, so that doesn't do me any good. Grand Temple of Achara. Oh, that's why. That makes sense. My Both of my armies were in Sor, which has the Grand Temple of Ashera, which decreases every army's upkeep that's in that province by 15%. That's what had happened. So whenever I came back down here to invade, I uh, began losing a lot of resources. That makes sense. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Don't need happiness or influence. Production and influence. Production, but influence loss. Uh, translator of quarters. Monument of greatness. 50 gold per turn. I cannot afford that. I'm tempted to go, just go with the fairgrounds. Or maybe the Warband Proving Ground, because that's the only place we can recruit it or build that. I mean, and we probably do want that because it would be nice to have some elite or to have some Canaanite Vanguard in uh, Astartes' army. They make very good flanking units. Um, that does mean I wouldn't be able to have any temples, but it's not really necessary at this point. Not going to be able to accomplish anything with these production buildings. Um, nah. Okay, so let me do some quick maths. Um, is this every source of food production? All resources, this province. Yeah, so 10%. Wait, this province. Sore province. Okay, so all of this is sore. Okay. So. My blade is yearning for battle. Yeah, so this means that um uh, i'm gonna do some maths don't know if i'm editing this or you're just gonna sit here while i type right type away on my calculator so we're in a crisis so 280 times what was it 15 percent or 10 percent 10 percent times point two, so that's 28 so uh, this is going to be easy maths. I'm stupid. I don't have to do, do that on my calculator. Uh, 28 plus 17 plus... This is not going to end up being worth it, is it? Plus 25 plus... War will be my 30. Now. We're just going to round down on that one. Plus 25 plus 25... Or 19 plus... 19 plus 28 plus 56 that should have it all means that for food alone we would get 250 which is the most non-smugglers uh building that I've seen, especially first tier. 
and it contribute uh as much as i want to have more troops more recruitment i think i've got to go with that and uh increase our resource production because the what rate we're losing food is not sustainable for a long period of time and i can't just expect to have is the a bit large chunk of my force down anything? here uh at any given point so i need to just suck it up and build more resource production the thousand action still available really witness. thought i had we already done it to noble work. oh guess not gossip you should conceal your goodness better Canaanite you see what friend, cindy was doing in the bathroom I oh i know scandalous she was chewing bubble gum think about all the germs trade your court action well i'm just gonna embezzle anyways so sure uh in all my provinces e sure Workforce growth at 81, 45. Let me guess, this one's below 10. Plus 9. Yeah, you could say that. Um, I am unbreakable. Okay, hey, two more turns on this. They have decided to not sally out. Of kings is How many? So I've got two siege towers, two battering rounds, and a siege ladder. Uh. Half tempted to just attack as is, because I feel like it would be a fun battle to play out. I'm gonna do it. And then we'll end the episode after this. Ooh. Still not recovered from daylight savings time. I guess that's what it is. My body's telling me I need to be going to bed now because it's an hour behind. Oh, why do they keep teasing us with getting with the idea that they're going to get rid of it? And then they they say we're going to get rid of daylight savings time. And then they propose a bill. And it doesn't get passed. And we're all still miserable. It's stupid. Stupid. All right. Eminimus, Emin, Eminimus, the loyalty of God, gold. Wow, I have Upper Egypt at my back. What if their loyalty is bought? They will follow all the same. Can you say the same of your men? I can buy them too. Maybe I have Minmus to Seti the second. Uh, let's wait and see if we can't get past that thunderstorm. Okay, we got fog, which is better than a thunderstorm. Are those shapes in the mist? Sword! Alright. Um, let's not have our most elite units on the siege towers. Come out, come oh, this is mud, isn't it? Yeah. Is there any place I can attack from that isn't muddy? I should attack from over here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But I do need to get some units on the siege towers before I do that. So, boom. Boom. I said boom. Boom. Let's get everyone to the other side of the map. This is a big map. I don't think that 
So I don't think that Attila's siege maps were actually this big. Uh, that that's one thing I loved Attila. Um, probably my favorite Total War game. Uh, absolutely fantastic game. But the burning system was cool. It was it was a nice system uh, to be able to kind of take away morale from the enemy as they watch their homes burn. That's that's a very cool feature. The problem I have with Attila's sieges is that they have about six maps that they choose from. This is the same problem with Rome 2. And it just gets boring fast. And that's something that they never really bothered to fix. And so I'm hoping because this, I mean, most people's campaigns are almost finished by now. I am hoping that there's a lot of uh, siege maps and stuff that I have not seen that are going to be brand new. And that it's not just rehashing the old stuff. Um, a renowned Canaanite swordsman looked absolutely no. exquisite. Mwah, chef's kiss. Let's get both siege rounds, or battering rounds up there so that they can be ready to take them on. And I guess that's all we need to do for right now. Let's get those Habaru axes up. Attack that gatehouse and put the other siege or battering ram right next to it to make sure that if it gets burned down or something, they can just charge right in. Yeah, so that they've changed it back to where you can only attack the gates, which I think that you can only attack walls and with battering rounds and warhammer. I don't think you could do that in Three Kingdoms or Troy, could you? Somebody's watching this part and uh, knows the answer to that. Please let me know. Light Syrian archers. Okay, so they're going to start sending up their cell swords and some veteran swords. Alright, that's fine. I am going to go ahead and send one unit of renowned Canaanite swords up to the front and send one in reserve of the siege, the other siege equipment so that whenever they get, all get up there we can join them. Oh. Do not doubt us! I would love to have some more bronze and be able to use some heavier Canaanite units, but we do not currently, so... We'll make do with this mo uh, montage, that's not the word. I don't know what the word I was e going to use is. But we'll make do with this hodgepodge, hodgepodge, there we go, of different units. Easy. Uh, so they decided to put all of their missile units right there. Way, which is going to royally hurt if we were to attack there, so I'm actually going to just tell my troops to hold off that endeavor for now. If we decide we need to take the gates, maybe we can do it after we can we uh, break through their lines here. Veteran Canaanite Swordsman about to get up on this wall, assuming that the fire damage doesn't get to it first, but it's looking like it'll be fine. Oh, they're throwing jabs while also pushing the ladder. Nifty. Look at that. Alright, uh, they're definitely not going to be able to get the siege towers down beforehand. And let's make sure that you don't be stupid. Okay. And they're working their way up the siege ladder now. Uh, the Habaru militia will be there with the siege towers in just a minute. We can, which means we'll be able to charge up our renowned Canaanite swordsmen soon. Good. Habaru militia's up. Through the bastards! Axe warriors! 
Okay, and their Canaanite cell swords are up, so I need to get those uh, veterans up as soon as I can, or whatever they're called. Um, renowned. Renowned Canaanite swordsmen. Okay, let's get those veterans charged into the Canaanite cell swords. Uh, there's no point in bringing the Havari militia down. Um, I am going to need them to meet this general who's about to run up this entrance here, right? Yeah, that's what he's doing. And then I'll send the renowned Canaanite swordsmen up that way. I'll also send these up because I don't anticipate actually trying to take this gate now. And if I do, these cell swords are more than capable of doing it once we clear off uh, <coughs> the enemy missiles. There is the general. Warriors of Canaan. A renowned Canaanite swordsman have made it up. Let's try. It. Let's get a look at those shields. Those are some nice looking shields. Oh, to have a sword and a shield. Not even have a bronze sword, even though it is much weaker. Alright. Um, so they're sending their cell swords up. I think we'll win that. Our renowned Canaanite swordsmen are taking the fight to these troops over here. Zemrida. Got our reinforcements here if we need them. Uh, How can this be happening? Okay. We are going to bring in some cell swords. From over here. Actually, let's bring in some Canaanite Vanguard and some Cell Swords over here to help out with this fight. It's going worse than I thought it would. Stressful sieges. We, they've taken about a third of the casualties, but we've only taken 30, so that doesn't really amount to anything just yet. The good thing is, is that their generals are, both of their generals are already engaged, which should, once we defeat them, provide a pretty big debuff to the rest of their troops. Their cell swords are winning decisively. What? Winning slightly, okay. Maybe they were trying to force their way through to Metazorus, whatever. I guess that's what was happening. I have no clue, to be honest. So they shouldn't be losing that uh, fight. But they are, or somebody's losing somewhere. Combat even, combat even. Losing, winning slightly. So why are you losing? Stop losing. It's that simple. Okay, Canaanite Vanguard, uh, have you head up this? Have you head up the siege tower? We'll try and break them that way. Oh, this is... I'm gonna get some spearmen up there too to hold the ground. <coughs> I 
Last thing we need is this unit to break. Why is it suffering so bad? This is ridiculous. And it's ridiculous that my unit's winning there. Hello, Arcos. What you doing, pup? I'm almost done here, pup. So I think the problem here is that we're stuck in and good ground and they are in advance, which is meaning that they're somehow managing to inflict more casualties on us. Um, our cell swords are in, so let's have them pack. Combat even, combat even. Let's. Oh, this is aggravating. <laughs> okay, let's have this unit of Canaanite Vanguard go up this siege tower. Spearmen, you're about able to go in there. Go ahead and start all up there. And we've officially gotten squished here, which is very bad. They've got more mass behind them. Axe warriors. We're gonna need as many troops as we can get up here, up here, is what I'm understanding from this. Those cell swords are finally looking like they might break though, so... That's good. I guess right now all I can really do is just sit here and watch. So, where's the more cinematic combat? Oh, there it is. A little bit over there. Alright, um, how are we doing? We've... We're lo Okay. We're not actually doing as bad as I was expecting. And we're about to get some Vanguard in there, which will, I think, soften them up quite a bit. Because the Canaanite Vanguard continues to be elite. Our Haveru militia have done surprisingly well this battle. Uh, those Canaanite cell swords are broken. Let's get those renowned uh, swordsmen in the backs of Betazorus. Come on. Come on. There you go. Malak, thank you! Okay, Betazorus is losing decisively. Have the rest of you fight this fight. Now then, realistically, we could just push them all. <laughs> Something would be nice to see in Total War. Pushing people off of walls. Having them die once they hit the bottom. I don't know if it would be nice or not, because I feel like that would be pretty easy to use against you as a defender. But I mean, it would add to the realism. Oh, that was weird. The audio glitch, I thought I just lost the progress I've made. Um, okay, so we're both about down 
Okay, so they're down 220. We're about down the same. Brothers, run! Okay, we're making progress. Yeah, Metazorus is going to fold soon, and then that'll give us a lot of mass to push up towards this flank. This flank, I don't know, there's not a flank here, but towards this whole chunk of combat. Losing decisively. They're still steady, though. Gotta give them credit, they're holding out. They, this is this is going to be a nice chunk of men to throw at these uh, this combat over here. Look at that sky. If we could just get him to finally break. Okay, he's broken. Let's see if we can't kill him. I think it's not a point in trying to kill him. We've once we win this, he's not going to stick around anyways, so And now we are going to be changing the tide of this battle over here. go ahead and send up another unit of... Oh, that's a unit already engaged. Um, let's send up a unit of cell swords. Why not? Drop siege equipment. Drop them directly into the middle of that. I think that's Betazorus right there. God save, us. God save the queen! Oh, I guess it's the king now. Never mind. He. Considering that Total War is a predominantly British audience, I didn't actually mean to insult you despite my anti-British sentiment. This one was just accidental. It's on the house. Hold up, Anartos. She's whacking my leg, asking for attention. Because I have been on here for a little over an hour. Probably an hour and a half. And that's been an hour and a half where she's not gotten what she wants. I don't know, pup. We're almost done here. 722 men left. All that's standing between this and the end of the episode. Ugh. Alright. So, the rest of their troops... Uh, well, what I was gonna say, most of the rest of their troops are missiles, but... I stand corrected. Interesting. Well, regardless, they're, they've only got one unit defending now, and we've got a big blob of men pushing them. Uh, cell swords. I mean, they, okay, there's two missile units. There's the three missile units. There's four missile units. Okay. This is making more sense now. Go ahead and have you attack the gate. They are already dead!
those skirmishers are trying to fire on us Fight for from the brothers. side they can access, which is smart, but I'm hoping that our shields will protect us here. Um, I might be able to withdraw one of the units and send them down to deal with them, or just do this. You taken how many casualties you taken? Oh, uh, maybe none. Okay, there's a casualty. There's a casualty. Yeah, what well, are we starting to take? Woof. That'd be. I, I know. I don't. I don't think a single one of those hit. But that would be intimidating. You see all of those javelins just come right towards your face. Okay, so they've got jabs up here now. Which is going to hurt us pretty bad, but we are going to cut through that gate like butter. Wow. Um, let's go ahead and get you just charged into their back. Back into them because we do not need them firing at us. Hello. Are you there? There we go. Okay, let's get you charged into those slingers. We can start decreasing the number of men on the their side of the battlefield. Uh, we can hurt their morale. We don't have to make some of the melee troops run without even getting them into combat, hopefully. For a minimal amount of combat. This mod has definitely... This mod that I installed has definitely made the battles longer, which is a good thing, because they can definitely stand it. Okay, well, this is going well. Never back down. Go ahead and charge Set you into the these archers over here. They tried running up the walls to escape. They just ran into our arms. Our not so loving arms. Oh, that's Bay. Whoops, I just brought Bay into this battle. Fear nothing. Into the fray. I can almost there. Okay, the Syrian archers are broken. Born to do battle. Let's get those slingers out of here. Bay is cutting through those skirmishers. They're down to 550 troops. I'm trying, Pop. I haven't forgotten about you. Okay, we are making progress. We're actually doing pretty good. Uh, I wasn't sure how this battle would go the first few minutes of it. <laughs> I know, Pop. Yeah. Come on, they're... They're holding for a lot longer than I would like them to. Says the man who installed this mod. Uh, our veteran Canaanite swordsmen have lost all of their armor. Those skirmishers are still holding, which is insane to me. Get some of our own skirmishers in here. 
Use them, try and fire up on the wall from this side. And let's go ahead and get some of our skirmishers firing on this side of the wall as well. Create a funnel of fire. I love seeing them bleed. Okay, they should be breaking. Yeah, they just broke. Which means that we can now flank around. There we go, they're shattered, and this is gonna be a mass route. Do we win? Yep, we won. All right. Uh, end the battle there. Occupy the city. Lost 400 men. They lost about 700, probably. So, we could have done a whole lot worse. Um, But we'll occupy the city, and then we'll end the episode there. And then next time we'll actually be able to march on, uh, onto Amaru. So... I hope y'all are excited. I, I know I am. I'm really looking forward to getting closer to Hittite lands and actually fighting some heavier armored troops and stuff. Um, I was I was stoked to be able to see those uh, renowned swordsmen on the battlefield this time around. There's just something that I love about heavily armored troops in Total War. They, I mean. It's it's always fun to see like the militia and all that, um, but you can only do so much with the graphics or with the art design without armor. And they've done a they, don't get me wrong, CA has done actually a really good job in this game of uh, figuring out what they can do with pretty much no armor because a lot of Egypt. You don't have armor. A lot of Egypt, the uh, main. Oh. Alright, decisive victory. Uh, a lot of Egypt, the main type of fighting is with. Uh, come on, Cooper, think. Is with. Is with the lighter troops, is with like missile troops and stuff like that. So, actually being able to see the heavier troops is something that I really enjoyed, and then they, they've done a good job of, of dealing with the lighter troops. I just much prefer to see the heavier troops. But we have now conquered Megiddo. Uh, we're gonna increase the happiness here because we definitely need it. Uh, I'm going to destroy the Temple of El. And that should have us. We are now making 131 gold per turn. Which means that we should be able to claim a, cra or claim a uh, office with no problem here in the next few turns. Hattie commands um, us all, peers. Yeah. Even me. The great king. We can probably claim High Judge or Lawgiver, which would be absolutely fantastic. But I hope y'all have enjoyed. We've made a lot of progress this time. We managed to get all of the ghetto and fight off the invasion of the Sea Peoples. So I'm excited. Uh, Amaru's next, and then maybe Tadmore, because they're getting too big for my comfort. But I will see y'all next time. My dog is crying, and I need to leave. So... Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, do all the things the kids do nowadays, and I will see you again. Bye.